I'm Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. There's an energy of you, um, some of you guys, if you haven't been feeling well lately, there's an energy of you finding out what the problem is and feeling better and being able to address it because you're finding out what it was, like why you may have been feeling like lethargic or tired all the time or like maybe you've been feeling a lack of or not taking action or whatever it is. Now, if that's not a physical thing, right, because I typically don't talk about on here to talk about people's health. I just try not because I'm not a doctor. You should definitely be seeking medical um help and, and advice because from from a pro trained professional and, and anywho you get my drift so for some of you all if that's not the case and, and you're not you know you're feeling healthy um you're coming to a newfound awareness of clarity you're getting some form of awareness okay or if you feel sleepy, tired, whatever, you need to get more rest and then you'll get clarity that you need, right? You might be feeling like symptoms of brain fog here because re-energized energy came out, but it came out in reverse. So it's like you being energized, you're getting a bolt of energy. Um, something's coming towards you that was a mystery. You're going to get clarity and awareness on whatever that is. The mystery is going to reveal itself to you. But I still feel like... For, for those of you, you need to get outside if you haven't been feeling feeling good or you haven't been feeling well because there's an energy of uh, being outside and being out in nature really being healing and grounding for you. So ground yourselves um, and get outside and go for a walk. Go for a, I went I went cycling today. I cycle. Right, that's how I get outside sometimes. Then we, I'm telling, showing you this energy, the miracle of nature. It says, "Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air." So get your ass outside and get moving, okay? Um, also, too, um, I just make sure you're making healthy choices when it comes to what you're eating and putting into your body. That's also a message that came out here with making healthy choices with this re-energy re-energized energy right so obviously if you want your body to feel better then you know maybe stop eating fried foods or you know eating fast food or whatever it is that you you know what your body needs just listen to it right your body's going to tell you when it feels good or when it doesn't like something okay um i have some healthy habits you know i juice um, I put, I, I drink tea every day, um, you know, I have probiotic shot and I take, you know, elderflower vitamins, stuff like that. Like just drink and drink more water. Just, just drink some water. That's simple. Okay. Now there's something going on at work for you guys coming up in the near future. There may be some drama between you and somebody else or there could be some drama that has nothing to do with you um you but but i do feel like whatever this drama is that's happening at work right that's the energy it's saying to reevaluate whatever this is is going to make you rethink do i even want to be here anymore i want to change jobs i don't want to work for this particular boss or this I don't want to work for this company anymore or like you might be getting some news about your job and your whole perspective about something is changing you're reevaluating some of y'all this situation is going to make you really want to quit somebody might piss you off um I'm just telling you now with the energy of awareness being here in mystery right awareness and mystery and the future also, this energy of believe what you see came out, right? Spirit is saying you need to face the reality of something. And I feel like, again, whatever clarity this is that you're getting, you it's going to be like, oh, well, I see that for what that is. Spirit is saying be brave and choose to, th to think of the situation like don't don't make excuses for the person or the situation or whatever. Like face the reality of it. Um and reevaluate things and change on the best whatever decision you make i feel like it's going to be a change because your perspective is on it is changing also okay so um whatever this is is going to come to you naturally or maybe the answers or the awareness is going to come to you or like whatever you see somebody says something you're like no nah, hell no nah, i don't trust that they're trying to lay us off 
for the next, you know, I, that sounds like they're going to try to lay us off real soon. I don't know. I'm not saying that's going to happen. But what I'm saying is something's going to happen or someone's going to say something and it's going to alert you to feel like I need to do something else. Okay. Um, or it's my time to work on my special project or whatever, whatever that is. Okay. Um, let's talk about this. Because there's some, there is a change in the wind, right? We're talking about these changes. The change in the wind is going to be good. The number 12 could be significant for you or the number 22 could be significant for you. Some of you guys have been seeing the numbers 222, okay? Because we have the energy of change in the wind, the number 12 and bless the number 22. So whatever this change is, is right, you're reevaluating it. You're like, oh, seeing something for what it is. Or like if something comes in, a new opportunity or whatever, trust your intuition and use your discernment, obviously. And But it's blessed energy. I, I feel like I'm talking to an earth angel, someone here who inspires other people. Like you're a good, kind-hearted person. You care about you know others you, you do you really genuinely care about the mental health and wealth of other people you some of you all may even work with other people in health and well-being you know you could be uh, someone who like cares for other people you could be a teacher right you're in that line of profession where whatever it does you serve other people um and you're meant to do that but you're also above it i don't know how else to say that y'all remember that video on social media well, where the lady was at, the Karen was at this hotel and she was complaining about something and cussing the guy out who was working at the front desk. And he was like, well, ma'am, it's above me now. It's above me now. Like I already did what I did. It's above me now. You came in here acting crazy. So I did what I had to do. It's above me now, right? I feel like whatever this other stuff was or where you were in your life, this is you saying, stepping into energy of it's above me now. You're above like, you need to think of yourself as more than what and who you are. You have power. You have strength. You have the courage and bravery to do and succeed and be resilient and push through certain things. And so continue to believe in yourself, okay? And maybe this is you. You know who you are, right? You know you're an earth angel. You know you're a light worker. And you make these choices that, um, these healthy choices for yourself, because you know who you are. Or spirit is saying, hey, 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 you are blessed. It's time for you to step into this energy. Or this could be the clarity that you get. And you're deciding to make different changes. So this is a re another reason why you need to go and connect with nature and get outside. Because I feel like that's the recharge energy. That's what's going to give you the strength and the courage. Okay. Um, also, too, I just feel like there's going to be a need in the next week or two for you to speak up about something because something does not align with your morals or your integrity. Also, too, somebody could be purchasing a new home. I don't know. Or missing home here. Okay. Or just want to be at home. I do feel like for a large part of you guys, y'all been in hermit mode or you've been home. You're like, I don't really want to go anywhere because I pulled a two card spread. And this is the Starseed Oracle deck, okay? Um, I think Rebecca Campbell. Okay, you, you are not alone. It says isolation, physical connection, and community. You bet, if you've been isolating yourself, it's time for you to reconnect with somebody, a group of people, family, get out, with, hang out with whoever it is that has great energy, or join a new club or a group of people. Like, it's time for you to come out of hermit mode, okay? Your soul wants you to do this. Your highest self is begging for you to do this, okay? So try to get outside a little bit more. Try to be a little bit more social, okay? Then it says the weight of the world. This is this is what your highest self wants you has wants you to do, okay? Let go of feeling overburdened and carrying other people's uh, problems or their person being the friend who is call you know people calling you to dump on you now I'm not saying you shouldn't listen be a listening ear for a friend I'm just saying don't be a dumpster for somebody else like if you have a connection with someone or even a family member right because some of us have family members who just only call you when they want to complain you know boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry so your spirit is like 
your soul is like yearning for you to release something and let it go because it's weighing you down entirely too much, okay? Spirit is saying, hey, it's not yours to carry. That's why we are here. Connect yourself. You're not alone. You are an earth angel. We're here with you to carry the burden and the load. Pray about it. Release it to God um, or to whoever it is that you pray to, whatever deity that you pray to or believe in. You got to let it go and start making healthy choices for you. F these other people. I'm trying not to curse on Sunday because y'all know I do curse. You know, I'm, I'm human. Plus, sometimes I feel like cursing is appropriate. I'm like, how else do you emphasize, like, how something, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the emphasis sometimes is needed. Hello, y'all let me know if y'all agree, but, I mean, you really don't have to cuss to, to get your point across, but, you know, I'm not a saint, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm a real person, too. Um, let's see, let's pull some runes cards. A rune card for you, and then we'll read out of the book what that message is. Okay, is the soul willow. The soul willow. Oh, that's the sun energy. The soul willow. The sun, Leo energy. You could have Leo in your chart. I. This is vitality, good health, good fortune, and happiness. Like I'm saying, I feel like for those of you who you know you're getting clarity about something, and, and whatever this energy is, it's gonna have. It's blessing you. You are about to be blessed. Some of y'all are visionaries and you don't even know it. Like you, I feel like you don't even fully know your whole power, how powerful you really are. Um, you know, I feel like you're about to have newfound clarity and awareness because this says giraffe energy, rise above earthly matters, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path, stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Okay. That's the giraffe visionary energy. Okay. Then we have hummingbird miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Yeah. I just feel like whatever you do that helps people, whatever you do, it helps people. It brings people joy. It makes people happy. You're being blessed for this. You're being blessed for this. With your health is being restored with vitality and good health here. Good fortune. You got an opportunity coming towards you. Some recognition. Um, you're just, oh, this is blessing and wholeness. So two words of blessings um, and the energy of miracle being here and the energy of recognition. Let's read that energy real quick. Let's see. So Willu, I think I'm saying it right. So Willu. So Willu is 66. The number 66 could be significant for you. Um, let's see, number 66, what are you? All right, here we go. So will you, the sun. All right, let's see. Um, some of you guys could the the yellow. Where the wear the color yellow this week? Okay, or you need to wear the color yellow. Um, or work on your um solar chakra. The eagle might be significant. You may have been seeing eagles or statues of eagles or something and get you some mistletoe, okay? Because I don't even know why that, it says plant mistletoe. So get you some mistletoe. Um, Sobalu signals the Quirin is basking in the sunshine. In many ancient traditions, the sun is the supreme divinity and represents active masculine energy. So this message could resonate for you if you're divine masculine. Um, in the Norse cult culture, two, the connotations are strength and power. The Icelandic poem um, apostrophizes the sun in rather warlike and pagan terms as the shield among the clouds, the dazzling ray and the destroyer of ice. Solalu is a highly auspicious rune, indicating that the Quirin has meaning like you, right, as a collective, has the means to be victorious. This is a time of good fortune and positive energy. Solalu is described as the light of the world, earth angel, right? Um... Norwegian rune poem and ever a joy 
in Anglo-Saxon, and so this room suggests that the querent, the collective, is ready to light the way to take the spotlight, right? That's recognition, right? You're ready to take the spotlight, okay? Accept who you are, right? You're this earth angel, this light worker, or, you know, this could resonate for you when it comes to career or something. It says, um, and should not over modestly hide their light under a bush don't hide your light shine bright like a diamond boo okay so willow is a very happy room for healthy matters representing vigor and strength there is no reverse for this room but a note of caution may be sounded by surrounding rooms so we didn't we only pulled one card okay um so Mm, as far as health goes, don't push yourself too hard. The sun is a blessing that is given to all and the deserving and the under, under undeserving alike. Hmm. Okay. Well, remember, you are the joy bringer, the, the energy of the hummingbird. You could be seeing hummingbirds all the time here recently. Or you might see a bunch of them or a giraffe. Or a zebra. Somebody may like prints. Um, energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Okay. So I love you guys. Get out of your shell. Be who you need to be. Shine your diamond and bright. Be who you are meant to be. Step into who you're called to be. All right. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, you guys. I am running a special, like a for real special, like one question, $10, but it's a 10 minute reading. Um, I think I'm going to run that through Scorpio season and then I'm probably going to just, you know, it's not going to be available anymore, but and join us on Patreon too, if you're into twin flame readings. Okay. Otherwise, love you. Bye.